what on earth did we just live through? After the single worst week on record, it was the biggest single day point gain ever. We're having this nice little technical snapback rally today. In an incredible turn of events, markets skyrocketed almost 1,000 points. The Dow closed up 936 points, or just over 11% at 9,381. The broader stock indicators also soared more than 11%. The S&P 500 index rose 104 to 1,004, while the Nasdaq jumped 195 to 1,844. The markets catapulted after the British government partly nationalized major banks by injecting them with what is equivalent to $63 billion. The Federal Reserve supported the effort with an unlimited cash infusion into the European markets. For the first time in a very long time, you're turning back the clock to partial nationalization of major banks. These loans now are basically made good uh, by, by the sovereign, sovereign governments. As helpful as that sounds, investors are not sure if this move will successfully thaw out those frozen credit markets. The LIBOR rate, the rate at which banks lend to one another, fell slightly seven-tenths of a percent. The three-month dollar LIBOR rate has come down a little bit, um, not too much, um, so that may take a little bit more time to play out. But I, I think clearly equity investors um, have seen a lot of their concerns uh, addressed. Well, it may have gone down a little bit, but, but again, you know, all the banks... I don't think are back in business today. So, you know, it's very difficult to say if that's it or not, you know. And just a little bit isn't going to help. We need, you know, it was so far out of whack. We need to really, you know, come in a lot. Although we spent most of the trading day comfortably in positive territory, investors aren't quite sure yet whether or not we're out of the woods. So there's still a long way to go before confidence is restored back into these markets. In New York, Bonnie Ghosh, The Associated Press.